If you have a gasoline powered car built in the last few decades, it's almost certain to have a catalytic converter in the exhaust system. And inside that device, there is a small but crucial amount of rhodium at work. Now, why is it there? It comes down to cleaning up the exhaust pollutants. Car engines produce some nasty byproducts carbon monoxide, unburned hydrocarbons, basically fuel, and nitrogen oxides. Platinum and palladium in these converters handle carbon monoxide and hydrocarbons by turning them into carbon dioxide and water. But nitrogen oxides, which cause smog and acid rain, require a different approach. They need to be broken apart into nitrogen and oxygen. This is where rhodium is the hero. Rhodium is exceptionally good at facilitating the reaction that takes nitrogen oxide pollutants and converts them into plain nitrogen gas, which makes up most of our air. Now the introduction of the three-way catalytic converter, so-called because it handles three major pollutant types, in 1976 by Volvo, marked the moment rhodium went from obscurity to industrial stardom. All of a sudden, car manufacturers around the world needed rhodium to meet new environmental regulations. Each catalytic converter only uses a few grams of rhodium at most, but when you multiply that by hundreds of millions of vehicles, it adds up pretty fast. 